Hello again, this is Dennis Hesberger from the Creation Forums and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create your own fixtures in case it, if it isn't in the library. Well, uh, in the last tutorial I showed you how to um, patch some new fixtures um, and open up a new show. I've loaded that show up and um, now in order to create our fixture for the library um, we move on to the system setup in the main menu. So we press on the button main menu and it opens up, then we press on system setup and then we have the fixture library in here. Well, it'll probably open up with the pane uh, showing show library, um, which is all your shows, and then we have the fixture library over here. What we do here is we just click on new fixture. Okay, so this brings us to the um, fixture creation wizard. Um, we can either choose to create an empty fixture or to use an existing fixture as a template. If we were to use an existing fixture as a template, we would just click that checkbox and could select our template fixture in here. We're going to create an empty fixture from scratch. Over here we can um, choose the manufacturer. Um, by default this will be uh, user but we can change that. So let's just change that to a manufacturer that isn't existing in library yet. Let's, let's call it test. Being creative with that. So now we can enter the type which is um, test spot and the short type which is well let's say T spot. The short type will be shown in, in many windows um, like the fixture patch and so on whereas the long um, type will be shown in the library and um, I think in the output screen as well. So let's move on and press next. Now we can enter the channel count for the test fixture. Let's just use eight channels as an example. So we move on by clicking create. So now we get that table which is quite empty actually. Let's click on channel one and two and keep the mouse depressed so we select those two rows. Then we click on set. Now we can um, actually see all the parameters. You will notice that select cause and fine is grayed out because I have selected two channels and the console now knows that if I add a parameter the first channel will be the cause channel and the second channel will be the fine channel. So let's add pan and click on OK. You see that pan is in here. So let's do that with a row 3 and 4 as well, set, and that should be tilt. You notice that the console automatically sets default values um, and blackout highlight and dimmable flags and the, the type flag um, as it thinks it makes sense. This works pretty well especially for the most common parameters but it might need some, some adjusting for the, well, for other parameters like, like color or Gobo or whatever. So as a channel 5 let's click on set and select the dimmer. The dimmer is the cost channel we would like to add because the fixture doesn't have a 16-bit dimming. You now see that the dimmable flag is set to yes which means it will react to a fader. Type is fade it means that um, if you change values in a queue list they will actually fade and not snap. The default value is 0, the blackout value is 0 and the highlight value is 255. Which makes sense as well. Let's choose channel number 6 and let's choose, well let's say color. Dimmable is no because color shouldn't be on a, on a fader. Type is snap because the color will usually snaps and is not fading. Default value is 0 which is usually white and highlight value 0 as well. So now let's choose a Gobo channel. So we're going to choose Gobo 1, add that in here. You see it got, got the same options as the color channel and let's click on channel number 8, click set again and let's choose um, Gobo rotation 1. So now we're going to um, change the type of the Gobo rotation channel because it's actually a bit messy in that fixture and it's it should be snap. So just click on the fade um, column for that 
a particular um, row and click on set you will see that it changes to snap the default value should also be not zero but it should rather be 128 because it's the center of the well of the indexing function let's click on set and enter 128 so this is what happened now highlight should not be zero but highlight should be ignored so we click on set again and then ignore highlight so should you now notice that you need one more channel you can easily click either insert channels which will insert channels before the channel you have currently selected or you click on append channels which will add channels on the end we click on append channels and append just one channel you see that you got a scroll bar over here and that there is a channel 9 now um, well I initially wanted to add zoom and focus so I click on the pan channels as well and have two more rows I could have entered two numbers of channels anyway so let's click on number 9 set type in here and if you have actually a keyboard connected you can type the the first letters and it will jump to that so I press on set and it jumps to zoom same for number 10 I press set and press F jumps to FX I press F again so now I'm on focus those two channels should in my opinion not be a snap because otherwise they will not fade so I select those two at the same time and enter fade their default should also be um, at the center which is 128 if you finish creating a fixture just click on save and close one more note here if you are dealing with RGB fixtures that don't have a dimmer channel you can add a virtual dimmer channel over here or if you have a fixture that only has a dimmer you can add a virtual shutter channel over here so I just do that by clicking on here you see the button turns blue now so it got a virtual, dim uh, virtual shutter as said if you're done just click on save and close and you're fine to use that fixture